I'm Fiona Alexander, a non-resident senior fellow with the Digital Innovation Initiative at the Center for European Policy Analysis. To enable connectivity and continued growth in the communication sector over the next decade, policymakers should adopt and implement policy and legal regimes that support an open, interoperable, unfragmented global internet. While we see many countries and regions support these principles at a rhetorical level, whether it be in national policy statements or in regional and global agreements, they often fail, unfortunately, to live up to these principles when enacting and implementing legislation, be it domestic or regional. Policymakers should proactively consider the impact of proposed regulatory regimes on the internet's underlying infrastructure and existing standards before rules are put in place. This should be done in open, transparent, and participatory processes that allow full collaboration with industry, the technical community, civil society, and academia. Things to avoid. Policymakers should avoid looking to the past for solutions to today's problems. A great example of that is the recent fair share debate in Europe and other parts of the world, where telecom operators pushed for governments to directly intervene in markets and force a direct transfer of payments between parties, something that was done in the telecom arena in the last century. While this effort was pitched as a way to finance upgrades to communications infrastructure, it was simply an internet connectivity tax, one that would go directly to the telephone companies without necessarily enhancing connectivity or improving service to consumers. Luckily, some policymakers saw through this facade, but it's important to be vigilant as no doubt these retrograde ideas will resurface.